my name is Chris McGuire, and I am a parishioner here at St. Margaret's with my husband, Jim, and our three children, Kieran, Seamus, and Erin. And I received my sacraments um, coming into the fullness of the Catholic faith at the Easter Vigil in 2003. Well, the way I began my journey into the Catholic faith actually started with my sacrament of marriage. So I was a little bit out of order. My husband was Catholic and I was a uh, member of a Presbyterian church, a very active member. And when we got married, we had our wedding co-officiated. So it is a sacrament in the Catholic church. And so that was really one of the first seeds that was planted for me, learning about what the sacrament of marriage was really all about, what it really meant. So shortly after we got married, our family started. And after our first two sons were born and me spending time driving from Narber down to Wallingford to go to the Presbyterian church there and coming to mass with my husband, I finally asked him, what are we going to do here? <laughs> and his response was, well, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> you can be whatever you want, Christian-wise, but I'm Catholic. So that was kind of a bolt of lightning for me to find out exactly what it was that he wasn't willing to let go of. And that was the snowball toward me becoming Catholic. So the way that I came into RCIA was when I was contemplating um, what my husband was not willing to let go of. Um, and this was also impacted by um, misunderstandings that I had in um, Catholic teaching and traditions. So I made an appointment with uh, Sister Mary Alice at the time um, and basically <laughs> sat in her office crying um, for about 45 minutes, um, getting all the answers to my questions that were very clear to me. Um, and she did a great job with that and asked me if I wanted to come to RCIA and start in the discernment process, which was the way that RCIA worked at the time. So that was actually in the winter time. Um, and so I began the discernment process, but wasn't prepared to receive my sacraments that Easter because it was a very short period of time. Um, but so I started up again in September. So I basically had like 18 months of RCIA under my belt um, by the time that I made my sacraments. And also in that time, our third child, our daughter Erin, was conceived, born, and received her baptism. So she and I are the same age in the church. We're 20. Yeah, coming in as an adult with um, experience under your belt, maybe you're coming from a different denomination. Um, you know, I, I was raised with a very sound Christian upbringing. So that part wasn't new for me at all. In fact, that was, I think, part of God's work early on in my life. You know, how did I come into the Catholic faith? Well, the Holy Spirit brought me here. Um, but there's a lot of who, what, where, when, and why so along the way. Um, so uh, how has it impacted my life? I mean, it is such, it is the answer to everything. It's my relationship with Christ is so sound and comfortable. I think that what I have witnessed in my, in my now 20 years in the Catholic faith is just how much God loves me. That is just 100% certain. Um, I know that, you know, I am just so, what I, one of the things I love about our Catholic faith is it's universal. So it just is amazing to me that every single week, worldwide, every single Catholic church, no matter which one you're going to, Roman Catholic church that you're going to, we're hearing the exact same readings. We're on the exact same page. And not only that, but Every single person is participating in the Eucharist 
from no matter where they're coming from, you know, no matter how old they are, if they're of age to receive the Eucharist, or if they're aging, or if they're injured, or if they're celebrating joy, or whatever the case might be, it's like we're all together, like receiving the same thing. And um, whether it's weekly, or if you're coming to daily mass, you know, so are millions of other people <laughs> around the world. And that to me is just so comforting. I, I would say that's so comforting. Um, the door is always open. I mean, the, the doors are locked here at nighttime, but during the day, the sanctuary is always open. And so it is just a break from everything is to come in here on a random Wednesday at two o'clock in the afternoon and sit in peace. And the senses that you are just enveloped by is just awesome. What I would recommend um, is first knowing what RCIA stands for, which is the Rite of Initiation of Christian and Adults. And, um, and understanding, you know, what does that mean? What does that entail? Um, what does the process, what does the commitment feel like? Uh, when I went through RCIA, the, my sons were two, one and two years old. And so at the time it was every Tuesday night. And I remember when I wanted to saying to my husband, like, okay, well, I'm going to be out every Tuesday night. And he was like, I got it. <laughs> You're good. Um, and I would come home and say, oh my gosh, did you know? And he'd say, yeah. I know, <laughs> um, but but the point is is you know is definitely uh, meet with Monsignor if you're here at St. Margaret's. Meet with Monsignor to begin your discernment process, but also recognize that this is yours. It's all yours. And I actually didn't tell anyone in my family. There was no one in my family that even knew that I was spending eighteen months. <laughs> going through RCIA. Obviously, my husband knew and my close friends here at St. Margaret knew, but nobody in our family knew. And I did that because I wanted it all to myself. It was all about me and my faith journey. And I really didn't, I didn't want to be open to any other input. It was just about me and Christ. That's all it was about, just me and Christ. So um, I would definitely be prepared for that. But there's also lots of great resources. So in, you know, in going through RCIA with Monsignor, I mean, you can read Scott Hahn, Patrick Madrid, you know, read about other um, people who also went through the faith journey to convert from whatever maybe their Protestant denomination was and why, and why they came into the Catholic faith. Because their reason why may be different from yours. But if you learn why other people have, it will only enrich your reason why. Um, and there's other resources. You can download the Hallow app onto your phone and listen to... Um, to a uh, prayer every day. You can listen to the homily from every single weekend that's, you know, spoken by a different priest. So you can always be hearing a story that's coming from the rich richness of the Catholic faith, but from a different perspective. And it's a universal millions and millions and millions of people. So Everyone has their own connection and their own personal relationship with Christ through the Eucharist, through the sacraments. That's all the same, but every person is different coming through.